Hey Golf Pass, I'm Clay Ballard. Let me ask you if this sounds familiar. You ever get about halfway in your downswing and all of a sudden you start standing up out of the shot, your shoulders and your back start to get farther away from that golf ball and now you have to cast or flip at the bottom of the swing just to be able to reach the golf ball. It's incredibly frustrating. You know, worse than that, when you start to do that stand up move, your hips and your shoulders don't really open through the shot. So you end up just kind of pausing the hips and shoulders and throwing at the golf ball like that. When we watch pro players, they're doing something totally different. Well, I have a great progression. I'm gonna walk you through it step by step to get the exact feeling that the pro players are having. So let's go ahead and start out. What I want you to do is go ahead and set up a six iron right to this golf ball. Now with a six iron, what pros are doing is they're taking about 30% of the loft of the club off. So if this club shaft is straight up and down, I got about 30 degrees of loft on my six iron. I'm gonna turn 30% of that off. I'm gonna turn it all the way down to 20 degrees. That's about a 10 degree shaft angle leaning forward. I wanna make sure that my club face is nice and square as I'm doing that. Now that I have my club set up in a pro-like impact, all I can do is go ahead and add that right arm on there. When I add the right arm, this is the key. If you don't get this right, it's down the tubes. You're not gonna be able to do this drill. I have to rotate my hips and my body when this is happening. And if you look from the down the line, you'll see that my shoulders are a little bit tilted here. I don't wanna be standing up like this too far away from it like we talked about before. I want my hips and my shoulders open and I want my shoulders tilted slightly so they're down at this golf ball. Now I can comfortably get in a pro impact position. Now if you're very tight, like I am, you're gonna find it pretty tough to open your hips and your body and feel comfortable unless this right heel lifts up off, lifts up off the ground. That's really, really important. So get that right heel to lift as you're doing that. Now, if you find yourself in this position, just with the right hand on the club, you should be very comfortable. And another key point here I really wanna look at is I want my chest to be facing in front of this golf ball. So I've almost got the full pro swing here. Now, you may say right now, well, if I get my chest open, how am I gonna have my shoulders square at contact like I see the pros? And that's actually a big misconception. I wanna have my chest, so my rib cage and my shirt buttons pointing out in front at impact and it's just my left arm coming across my chest and adding to the club that makes it look square. So go through that again. Club shaft leaning forward and square. I'm gonna add my right arm as I open my body, right heels off the ground. From there, I'm gonna add my left arm on and I'm in a perfect pro-like position. Do that about five times and once you get that feel, we're gonna be able to hit a golf ball and try to recreate that in our real swing. That's gonna help you to hit it just like the pros. And because our shoulders were tilted, we're also gonna stay in our posture and we're gonna open up our hips. Let's go ahead and give it a whirl. All right, hit that nice and solid. I really can't hit one much better than that. That's helped me to get a lot better crisp contact, and I know it will for you too. Do this drill, then head over to Golf Pass for some more great videos. I can't wait to see you in the next one.